This is a quick explanation of the LS7000-2 dual point level switch. One of the most important things is the fluid has to be grounded to either the mounting nipple, the electronics, or the housing. Once the electronics are in the housing, they're all connected together. There's two simple ways to do it. One is to put a wire on the mounting nipple and attach it to a rod or a wire that drops down into the water. The most elegant way, I think, is to put a two-inch two pipe with a vent hole so the water seeks its own level. This way you can calibrate it in a bucket of water prior to installing it in the pond with the one sad fish. This is the dual point card with both of the dip switches set up. This is for automatic fill. This is the low set point, the high set point. There's a dip switch or a slide switch here to set it on low or high sensitivity. I'm setting this one on high because the probe is only 12 inches long. This has never been calibrated right off the shelf. This particular unit is being powered with 24 volts AC and you can see the green LED or the red LED for the low level is on. We want that to be off. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise prior to putting it in the water. Sometimes you might have to turn that several turns. Uh, it's a 20 turn pot and it freewheels at the end of travel. The green LED is on because it's in the automatic fill mode and now that both LEDs are off it realizes the water is below the probe so the relay is energized to call for the solenoid to be open and deliver more water. In my bucket I have a steel rod to ground the water and a little jumper here that I'll just put here for the sake of demonstration. Now we're going to calibrate it. Put this probe in the water, bring it up about one inch and you can see that the red LED is on. What we want to do is find the threshold where it just comes on. So I'm going to turn this off by going counterclockwise. Now I'm going to find the threshold where the red LED just comes on at this point. I'll turn it clockwise until it just comes on. Now I'm going to dip it another inch in the water. This is the high set point. I'm going to turn the high set point clockwise until it just comes on. Turn it off, on. Now you can see, well, I'm wiggling around here, but I'm going to try to be stable. Now when the fluid level is below both set points, it says the green LED is on calling for water. The red LED comes on for the low level. When it hits a high level, instantly goes off. And it, the water level goes down, the high LED goes off. When the low level goes off, the green LED comes on. The first wave to hit the high level will shut the green LED off. This will cycle again and again. Without the ground, the repeatability of these set points is very flaky. So the ground is critically important. Please call if you have a question. Thank you.